Let's see if this works. So drag this over and that's going to be part of there we go. Right. So um not sure if it will if it will be visible with EPR. I think it should. Let's see, composite. Uh, if I go like that. It's fine, but let's see. Okay. Hmm, why didn't that work? Okay, got updated, I guess. So if I scrub that now, okay, cool. So now it's showing the animation. Yeah, so from there, so this is just an alternative to using a video editor and creating a video from these images, so just an alternative to that. And then, of course, you'll say save animation to yeah, I'll save it. Oh, no, why not? It's up to you what kind of codec, of course, options for that. We'll go with XFID. For XFID, make sure that uh, you render in the same in the correct format. For example, full HD will work, but if you say like thousand and 30 by 779, it's not going to work. So it's got to be a standard. Anyway, so yeah, that's it. So we should just render it. Again, this is an alternative to using a video editor. Mm, let's see why. Oh, okay. It's rendering to frame 120. My fault. Anyway, should have set the render <coughs> to 30, of course, since I got 30 frames. Anyway, um, yeah, you should also think about uh, the frames per second. I usually go with 24, so this, yeah, I really should fix this, change this, but it's kind of like strange that there's no setting for default frame rate. Anyways, <clears throat> so yeah, now you can see this render we made. Looks nice. I was going to look for some issues with fiber effects, but it seems for now to work okay. So that was the reason for this kind of funky deformation. Sometimes I do that, I just create a morph, an endomorph to check how deformations work. But um, yeah, it looks to render all right. Anyway, that's how you can render an image sequence in layout.